everybody. I recently uh, experimented with making my own uh, Steadicam uh, camera stabilizer. There's several people, actually there's quite a few people on YouTube making them, but there's only a few people that are actually making really good quality uh, Steadicams that work. Uh, this, is, this is one that I, I made, the first one I made. It didn't work that well, but I learned a few things from making it I'd, I'd like to share with you. Uh, I guess the first thing I'd like to share is that uh, when you're watching other people's Steadicam, homemade Steadicam videos, if you turn the sound off, you can focus on the, the video and the quality of the Steadicam. And a lot of them don't really work. They, they, they work pretty good, but they don't make the camera steady. There's like three or four people who've done a really excellent job, and I'll, I'll have the information on their site. I also have a playlist on, on my channel that has a lot of, of, of the best uh, Steadicams I found. I think WCS Clater is my hero. <laughs> he, he came up with this, this design. Um, of course, he used metal, and other people have been using wood. Uh, I put a video on YouTube on how to make an inexpensive, almost free, a heat bender. You can use plastic if you want to. There's one thing that everybody's been doing that I did differently. They all use a uh, uh, a flashlight for their handle, for, for their stabilizer, and I couldn't find the right size flashlight, so what I did is I used a piece of three-quarter inch PVC, and then I took a piece of uh, uh, tubing, and this tubing is a one-half inch inner diameter and three-eighths of an inch outside diameter, and it fits inside the tubing, and then once I got it inside the tubing, I was able to put my U-bolt, or my, my U-joint. Let me do a close-up. Okay, this is a standard just like everybody else's. Here's your, your this, this comes from Trax, the uh, company T-R-A-X-X, -X, and this is a universal joint. It's used in RC models, radio control models, and in, inside here is a, uh, a bearing that, that's used in toys. Now this won't normally fit inside this plastic, but if you use this piece of tubing as a shim, then you can fit your uh, your bearing inside and add your, your your joint, and that way I was able to use an inexpensive piece of plastic instead of a a uh, flashlight. Uh, something else I learned is if you want to make a heavy camera stabilizer, and if this joint, if this this the universal joint isn't strong enough, there's a there's a guy in uh, Hong Kong that sells a stainless steel. Uh, universal joint. You can find them on eBay. I'll try to give his address later too. And it is much stronger than the plastic and looks like it would wear uh, much longer. Um, so those are the three things that I learned making my uh, stabilizer and uh, I hope they're, they're helpful to you. Thanks for watching my videos and if you like uh, please subscribe. 